Strictly Strings, Book 2, page 29, handles Fugue in C. You're going to hear the A part melody first, followed by the B part violin and viola harmony, and then the B part cello and bass bass line. I will be playing this to a metronome so that when you choose to do a harmony or bass line part, you can plan for the rest in the beginning of each section and then play along as you like. First tune. slow down at the end for the ritardando. Now on to the B part. Note the three measures of rest in the viola and violin harmony part. This is B part, viola, violin, harmony. And a one, two, three, four. would have been without a ritardando. And finally, the cello and bass bass line part, which includes six measures of rest in the beginning. And a one, two, three, four. Thank you. 
ending there, no ritardando, and there may be one or two notes there that are a transpositional error, but you get the baseline idea. You can mix and match. You can play your A part with your B part and vice versa. Enjoy.